Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is No Dust here, and we are going to do uh, the second wing of League of Explorers, Ulderman. So part one, the boss, the first boss in the Ulderman is Chief Chieftain Scarvash. So let's get into the game. And let's... Well, let's have a look at his hero power. Passive hero power. Enemy minions cost 11. Swap at the start of your... What? Trog Hayton. So basically, um, on alternating turns, we w you can't cast minions and you can't cast spells. Interesting. Let's just go in and uh, have a look. Let's try my rogue list. So, notes. Alternating turns, can't cast spells, slash play minions. Starts with two, one big trog, one small trog. Okay. Um, I'm on one mana, and it swaps, so I can play a two mana minion. Let's keep the crusade and see what happens. So, one mana spells. Let's let's just let's just see what see see what the mechanics are. So, on turn one, uh, one mana spells. Okay, no minions. So I want more more one mana spells. Okay, I don't have any spells. Turn two, two mana minions. Turn three, three mana spells. And so on and so forth. So odd, odd equals spells. Okay, even equals minions. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll try and remember that. So... Uh, let's just whip it up. We can't really do anything here. Yep. So odd, odd, odd spells, even minions. Let's try and focus on that. Let me see if I can think of any classes that may fit that description. Um, when it comes to odd spells, I think that Shaman is pretty good. And, uh, but the problem here is the two trogs. So... Let me see. What is my answer to the two trolls on the board? Earthshock? Earthshock plus Hex, I think. I think Earthshock, Earthshock and Hex uh, can do the job. Also quite useful against Tunnel Trunk. Silence probably. Yeah, so Silence minions means good. Okay. Uh, so Senjin works okay. So Senjin 4 drop is fine. Probably want a 2 drop um Annoyer Tron. Let's let's get back let's, let's go back to the drawing board. So I'll see you guys in the um, in the crafting section in the deck manager. Okay, now time to craft the deck. Um I think I'm going to start with Shaman, although Druid may be useful as well just to get the ramp up. Or Warrior also, because um um, Scarvash's uh, passive doesn't affect weapons. You know what? Let's try Warrior, because I, you know, I just like Warrior. I, I, I just like Warriors in general for this mode. Okay, uh, Scarvash. Okay, so we can have uh, odd spells, even minions. Okay, so odd spells, um, and zero cost as well works too. Odd spells, even minions. Odd spells are good. A whirlwind is probably good too. I uh, don't know about an upgrade. Let's just look for them. So can't take these odd spells. I mean, you probably can play them later on in the game, but uh, that's a blade, probably good. Bash, shield block, probably good. Odd brawl is excellent. Crush is excellent also, okay. And that's pretty good so far. I don't think we have anything else. I could run some inner rage executes. <clears throat> Let's try that for now. Odd spells, even minions. Okay, and let's go for minions. I mean, you can... I mean, on an odd turn, you can play like a two cost, two minus spell. That That is a possibility. So I wouldn't rule that out, but let's just see how we build for now. So minions, two minor minions. Alex's champion probably doesn't work well. Um, cool task is probably decent. Um, uh, sparring partner, probably decent. Um... Arathi is pretty good. Corcron, I'm sure about Corcron, but I don't need two Arathi. 
Uh, Shield Maiden is good. Uh, Gromash is good. And I will throw in some weapons. Weapons are just, you know, just work well in general against these sorts of encounters. Fiery Winax, double Fiery Winax is fine. Uh, double Death Spite, do I want Double Death Spite? It may be too slow. What else might I be running? Gore Hell, I think a Gore Hell is too slow. I think, yeah, Double Fiery Winax, die, um, Double Death Spite. And uh, again, odd spells, even minions. So I don't really have, I, I guess I could run an Arcanite Reaper. I'll take out a Death Spite. Um, it doesn't really count as a spell anyway. Okay, and then I'll run some finishes just to, just to finish him off. Even minions, right? So rag works. Um, 10 drop minions also work. I don't think I want to run the nine drops. Mm, Chromagus could probably end the game for me. Mm, I don't want to run boom. Sunwalker's probably, yeah, Hogger, Commander, Sunwalker. That works. I could probably even run a Black Knight to combo with Aspiring Partner. I don't know how many taunts he runs though. Even Minions, um, Senjin, probably good. Did I put Senjins in? Senjins, let's see. So on turn two, I definitely want a good minion. Cruel Task is okay because it sets up an Execute for the next turn. Aspiring Partner, I could probably use a, some better turn two minions. Hmm. I think Aspiring Partner is okay, actually. Um, let's run some Annoyotrons. So I'll take out some of my late game. Yeah, I think the rag is probably too slow. The hogger is probably too slow. Run two Annoyotrons just to slow him down a little bit. Um, also, I could run a BGH against... BGH is three minor, so I'm going to have to look for a four minor min I do have I do have enough four minor minions. And six minor minions, I have plenty... Perhaps some zero minor minions. Actually, target dummy might work too. So let's throw out a shield maiden and possibly a Grommash. Yeah, I don't want to be... Too... No, I don't want tiny fin. Uh, what, what, what happened there? Um, I'll run two target dummies and I'll put that execute back in my list. Probably don't want two inner rages, but you never know because I can inner rage into BGH. So that sort of works too. Um, let's, but I don't have the BGH. I think I run BGH anyway, just as removal. Mm, and if I'm going to do that, I can probably take out the Argent Commander. Yeah. Okay, let's try this list and see how we go. Okay, so I'll be, I'll, I'll log back. I'll resume the video at the mulligan phase. Okay, here we are in the mulligan. That's right. So we want odd man, odd spells, even minions. I think given that I want an even minion, Anoyatron is fine here. It will slow down. I don't want to be playing the inner rage unless I can execute. Now that's the question. What is my, what are my answers? What are my answers to the freebie trogs? Probably I want to look for execute. Probably also, um, True drop Doomsayer, good too. So I'm probably put I'm probably missing a Doomsayer. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I would I would play this into an execute if I had it, but I'm not gonna do anything this turn. Yeah, so Doomsayer definitely something I want to put in this list to deal with these um these pesky guys. Um, possibly also instead of Annoyatron, maybe maybe um, Unstable Ghoul versus Cruel Task. Because Cruel Task is, is a little bit more, more proactive, whereas the Unstable Ghoul is a little more defensive, and defensiveness helps against these lists. Okay, here we go. So we have a pretty nice execute. Don't, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. Okay, that's fine. So I have a pretty neat execute. Um, I will win Axe Execute. So this is this is turning out pretty strongly for us. And I have uh, Inner Rage BGH next turn. Actually, no, I don't, I don't think I can play the Inner Rage. It's going to be 11 mana, so. But I do have a VGH to contest the Ancient Shade. I do remember that he has an Ancient Shade in his list. Rumbling isn't too scary, um, but I, I do want to deal with it at some point. Mm. Okay, I don't think I want to play the BGH. I want to save the BGH for the Ancient Shade. And uh, Cruel Task. Yeah, definitely, um, I probably want to take the Cruel Tasks out. I'll put in Unstable Ghouls. The ghouls um, are just so much more defensive when it comes when it comes time. You know, when you need it, you gain that defensiveness when you need it, as opposed to the cruel task. You know, like you have to cruel task. You don't want to be in a position where you have to cruel task one of the opponent's minions. Doesn't work out too well. So I would really like to find. Uh, Target dummy works good here too. 
Uh, actually, well, good for the next turn. I can in a rage hit in a rage, but I have a BGH clear, so I think I'll save that for now. The win axe is definitely pretty mandatory to use against one, that first free troll. Okay, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, and I think BGH is, is worthwhile having in this list. I'll shoot this. I'll develop this. And I think I'll cruel task the target dummy. Just so it's a little bit. It, it, it allows me to send the BGH in to finish off whatever is left over. Yeah. And I think the target dummy is a worthwhile, worthwhile addition to this list. So we've got a lightning bolt. Okay. Hunter Secret. Okay, could be worth run running a Kazan. Running a Kazan. Could be. I'll, I'll put one in. I'll put one in and see. Okay, this is quite interesting. I don't know what you were planning here, but... Okay, and I'm going to have to hit in a rage. It's painful, but... Um... Now, is this a bear trap? I think it might be a bear trap. Oh, it's a dart trap. Ow! Okay, so it's a dart trap. Do I want a Kazan a dart trap? Kazan a dart trap worthwhile? Yeah, probably, probably. I think I would. I think I would Kazan a dart trap and double. Maybe, maybe even double Kazan. Um, we'll set up two Sengins here. Yeah, set up two Sengins here. I need that level of defensiveness. I'm probably dead to like uh, spell empowered uh, lightning bolt or something like that. But if we can survive, and if I can drop the shield maiden at some point. Okay, armor up, shield slam. No, no, we just clear. We're just gonna clear. And uh, I'm gonna equip the weapon, but I'm not gonna swing. I must. And uh, is this is this a second dart? Okay, so it is two. He runs two dart traps, and that's not too bad actually. Now I can swing. Do I want to swing? Yeah, I might as well because um, it's not like I'm gonna hit anything else until I until I have some more health. Um, so yeah, so it's double double dart trap. And it looks like we've we've actually cleared the high pressure point, the high water mark of this encounter. Let's see how we go because we um, could do with some more some more cycle. Could use some more cycle in list question mark. Uh, the target dummy is fine. I can just shield slam that. This is excellent actually. Shield slam working out very well for me. And. Um, I think this is the opposite of the temple, the temple escape uh, encounter where I ran, where I ran um, freeze mage. Freeze mage definitely doesn't work here because, well, because he starts with freebie trogs, and you need to deal with warrior is definitely much a much better class to be using in this context. I feel now with so many taunts, um, bolster. Eh, yeah, maybe. I don't think I'll run Bolster. But maybe a, um... A Cult Master. Cult Master for draw. What did he just play? Oh, he, he, he played it. Okay, so sure, that's fine. Um... I'll just run this in. This is fine. And we have excellent amounts of removal. Um, might even be able to one-shot. I'm not... This isn't one-shot. This is one and a half shot. Because the first shot was, um, you know, just scouting with the Rogue. But it looks like he's run out of steam. So it looks like we've, um... We seem to be doing pretty well with this encounter. And I will hit hit just to control this thing. And we have so much... Um, we have so much premium removal that it's not a problem. Whatever he drops, I can take care of. I'll probably crush that one. Um, a Thorissant probably can work in this list also, but... Uh, you know, I'll crush it because uh, the Execute gives me more breathing space. If I ever need to execute something, yeah. So um, it looks like we're gonna win, but I, I can't say so for sure. We we should we should definitely wait until we should definitely. And if he draws his curses, um, it's gonna be game. He's got because he's got two curses in there. So I'll run the Sunwalker. Um, let's just go face. I don't think he runs any board clears. I think he just runs minions and um, a couple of hunter spells. So and you know we're just slowly armoring up. Um, Fairly straightforward. I didn't expect this encounter to be this straightforward, but you know, these things happen. And obviously I may be speaking too soon. I shouldn't speak too soon, but I think we're done because there's six damage here. And I have the bash for reach if I need it, and we are done. Yep. Bash. Pretty easy. 
Um, yeah, man, and, and you know, uh, I think I will end the video here. I mean, after reviewing. Let me actually, let me go back to the deck manager and build the optimal deck that I think would have definitely won. So if you guys are curious about what you might want to run. So a cruel task, I take both the cruel tasks out. I reckon Doomsayer will do a ton of work against the freebie trogs. Um, unstable, so unstable, probably good. And you don't want to give one of his scenes taunt, so we'll, we'll take out the sparring partner for the second unstable. Definitely the double win axe was um, MVP here. Arathi, pretty good, but definitely the weapons from Warrior because you can, like, they, they're not affected by Scarvash's. Um, Hero power, and then you just start stalling. You hit, and you armor up, and you stall, stall, stall. I think this list is fine. So you know, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna post the list or anything. You just, you can just look at here if you're interested in having a list that you know, proof, proof, proof in the pudding. Um, we we beat Scarbash uh, first try after the scouting run. So you know, pretty happy with that. And uh, we will do the next run in the next video. So let's uh, start wrapping up here. So thanks in advance, guys, for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Um, apologies that the video was so short, um, but I don't want to put two heroic bosses in one video. I, I think I, I want to stick to, you know, one boss per video. If it takes a long time, it takes a long time. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And this one just happened to be a short one. So thanks in advance for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I do this for the love, so any gestures of appreciation uh, mean a lot. And, uh, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope um, the uh, the strategies were useful to you. If you were looking for how to defeat Heroic Scarbash, well, it's here. And uh, I'll be back with the next encounter uh, in the next video. So, till then, I'll see you next time. This is No Dust signing off.